brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Today's question comes from Kyle in Minnesota. He says, my wife and I earn $230,000 a year. This income is fairly new as my wife just went back into the workforce. We have a five-month-old daughter who my mother-in-law watches while we work. As predicted, my mother-in-law is now requesting we pay her to watch our daughter. Now, prior to making this arrangement, she agreed that we wouldn't have to pay her because we're trying to pay off debt. I understand we aren't entitled... We are not entitled to free child care, but with 75000 in student loans to pay off, we don't have this in our budget. It would be more cost effective for my wife to quit working than to pay for child care. They, talking about the mother-in-law, make 300000 a year and have no debt other than their house, so they don't need the money from us. How do we sp- respond to their request to be paid for watching their grandchild? Let me tell you something. The animosity is hot. Ooh. It's popping. I feel it. Um, here's the thing. You knew this was coming because you said as predicted. So there's something about your mother-in-law's character that you kind of knew this was coming. And I'm not saying she's a bad lady, but he obviously knew something might might come up, come out of the woodwork here. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to call you out first and then I'm going to be on your side. First, I'm going to call you out because they make 300,000. It's none of your, you know, they can spend their money how they want to spend their money. They can decide if they want to be compensated for their time. Don't add those other little statements in there because that just makes you a little bit like like snap snappy right like i can understand you're mad but if you bring it up to them the second you start saying well you don't even need this money you make three hundred thousand oh, like that's yeah. that's the moment the conversation goes just into terror town um here's the thing you said that your wife and you make two hundred thirty thousand. you said the wife the income is fairly new i mean i i you're in Minnesota. I can tell you for us, for one child in daycare, it's 1300 a month. That's expensive. So if your wife is making more than 1300 a month, then yeah, it's, it's worth it. You're paying off debt. Even if it's, you know, even if she's making 2000 and you're only pocketing the 700 after taxes, like, yeah, keep doing this. Um, I will say if this is going to cause a lot of animosity and issue with the mother-in-law, cut her loose and say, hey, we can't afford to pay you. We're trying to get out of debt. And you can say, you know, I thought this was the agreement, but if it's not, that's fine. We'll just put, you know, baby in daycare and and just do it as gently as possible. Don't really try to hold them to it because, you know. This doesn't seem like it's worth burning the entire relationship yeah. over. I think there was some expectations. Mm-hmm. Expectations changed on her part. Maybe she mm-hmm. realized, oh my goodness, full-time childcare is kind of like work. It's a lot. And I'm not the mom. And so, mm-hmm. you know, I don't, I'm not mad at her for saying that I feel like I should be paid something. And so maybe you figure out what that number is. I don't, we, it's not said here what mm-hmm. that number is. Is it less than it would be to put her in daycare? Is it less than getting a private nanny? I think 100% it's less than a private nanny, mm-hmm. whatever she's asking for. Yeah. It's probably not 60 grand a year. And so I would figure out what makes sense, but I would not continue down this awkward trail. Yeah, I um, wouldn't either. I got to believe that grandma's not going to charge 1300 a month, but you you Kyle are right in feeling frustrated that she said, "Yes, I'll do it for free," and then is singing a different tune. Now, here's the thing. Here's what we don't know. We don't know how long this arrangement has been going on, and we don't know I mean at least 5 months <laughs> at the very least. Um, and we don't know how long she agreed to do it without money. Like there's a lot here, but I think George, to your point, probably what happened is it's like fun for grandma to hang out with, you know, little Betty or whoever it is for a couple of hours every day. But then when you stretch that to eight hours per day, and then it's like, oh, and can you start browning the meat for dinner? And oh, would you mind throwing that load, that load of laundry in the closet, you know, yeah. in the laundry? It's, it's just, a lot. It's a lot when you're staying home with a child. And I could understand how grandma might be like. Yeah, you know. And here's the other thing I have issue with. Something. Kyle said, we don't have that in our budget. You make $230,000 a year. If grandma wasn't around, like we don't have family That's right. in the same state as us. So That's true. So it's not an option. So don't tell me it's not in the budget. Just it tell me be. it's going to slow down my debt snowball, which yes. is frustrating because we made all this progress. And we have all this new income. And now it's going to slow it down by X number of months. That's right. Just put that on paper and grieve it and go, yeah. we could have been debt free four months faster, but babies change things. You know And that's what? okay. Sometimes I'm, I'm going to throw a perspective shifter right here. I'm going to do this real quick. Um, let me throw it back to this. I'm training for a race. I'm training to run a marathon. Whoa. And it's some mornings I wake up and I'm like, oh, I got to run. And I'm so like irritated that I have to run. But then I remember 
it's a blessing to be able to move your body and run. There are people who cannot run. Same thing with children. We can be like, oh, I have to pay for childcare. Childcare is the worst. Blah, blah, blah. It's a blessing to have a child. And there was a day that you, that you wished and prayed yes, for a George. child. And now you have it. Don't complain about the child care. I know it's expensive. I know it wasn't in the budget. I know you're trying to do baby step two, but get back that perspective and go, it's a blessing to have this child. One of the things that go with children is child care. And I'm just going to chalk it up to the experience. This is part of life. It's temporary because once they hit kindergarten, let me tell you something, George. Ding, ding. Oh, that money goes that back in the pocket. You just got to raise. Hey, hey, it's a I blessing. I raise next year. It's a blessing to have family <laughs> that you even trust to watch your child yeah. for free or for money. Yes. So there's a lot of blessings in here, Kyle. I think you should count them before you start burning bridges, my friend. Yep. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.